If you've been losing to the sports book, it may not actually be due to your shitty sports bets. It may actually be due to the damn devil in the casino. That casino will really get you and you should really get that cut off from your sports book. I actually don't know if FanDuel and DraftKings, their sports books offers a casino, but if you play almost everywhere else, uh, especially offshore or local bookies, they always throw that casino in there. They can turn it off, but do they want to turn it off? You know, some bookies will ask you if they want you to turn it off, but because they actually know that sports bettors are losing a lot of money in that casino luckily i never played in there i always stayed away from it just because i didn't find it that entertaining but i know a lot of people find it entertaining and if you find that thing entertaining that's where you can be losing a lot of money and you know i've noticed some patterns with people who play that casino one is that when they get drunk you know, they start heading to the casino and start playing roulette, blackjack, and they go a little bit crazy on that because you get that instant money. It's not like it's not like in the sports book where you place bets and you gotta wait, you gotta watch it, watch the game. And you know, when you get drunk playing that sport, that casino, you're like, bam, 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 money, money comes in quick, money goes out fast. So that is, you know. If you guys are drinking and playing that casino, that's a bad no-no. You're gonna be losing your money like that. Another thing that, that I've noticed was that players will be down in their sports book and then they'll try and play catch up in the casino because you know you gotta have that, that credit for the rest of the week to keep on playing throughout the week. So let's say it's a Monday, you're down, you're down maybe half of your bankroll already, and you need that money for the rest of the week to continue playing. Oh, let me just get it back in the casino. And that's where you can continue to spiral down. You need, now you need to call the book, ask for more credit, you know, so that's another reason that the casino will fail you. And then last thing that I've seen with a casino, you know, causing problems is that when sports bettors have nothing to bet on, they start throwing it in the casino. And, you know, some people, they only bet football or NFL. And then it's like Monday or Tuesday and there's no, no football, no college football to bet on. And, you know, they're just like, what, well, what am I going to do? They, they need to get that fix, that gambling fix. You're sitting at home, it's quarantine, you know, so what are you going to do? All right, let me just play the casino. So those are the kind of things that will get you in trouble with, with your sports book, you know. So you, if you're actually really trying to win, you know, get rid of those things that are causing you problems. Something like the casino, that devil in the casino, you know, get rid of it. Tell your bookie to turn it off. You know it's causing you problems. And then I know people, they, they turn it off and then they, they call them back. Hey, can you turn it back on because they're bored? Now, you'll notice that you're bored, you're, you do it out of boredom or to catch up, you know, but it's not the best idea. You're bored, you're drunk, you have nothing to bet on, so you head to the, cas to the casino to place your bets. Now, what does that say about you as a better? You're actually not betting to win. You're just playing for entertainment. So if you're playing for entertainment, please drop, drop your limits. You know, you got to realize that you're playing for entertainment and not actually to make a real living, make some real money in your sports book. So get rid of that casino and start playing for real. Stop stop messing around and try and really actually uh, keep the money you win. All right, good luck in the books.